Well, your latest hot take on this, this Harry and, and Meghan stuff. The sympathy there, of course, over his, his mother's death, undeniably. But what's happening now is an adult and he should know better, no? <laughs> Well, it was all rather underwhelming, actually. Um, he, um, the, the three episodes I watched already do not uh, really live up to the trailers, which were full of explosive suggestions. Um, but this, w what we see, is really a story of love, great love for his wife, and that it's all quite charming and lovely, if you want to see that, of hate. He says the level of hate directed against his wife and his son was extraordinary. Now, there was very little evidence to back that up. Certainly nothing we've seen so far about hatred against um, his son. And race, because he said from the start, he felt that the root of the problem was her race, that uh, she wasn't given the protection that she needed um, because of her race. He felt that um, she should have extra protection. So it's a very dramatic story in many ways, but I don't think it's landed as many blows on the royal family as we were led to believe it would. But, but what's to come? So, so am I right in saying there's three episodes that are dropped and there are another three coming? Is that right? Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's going to be quite a long watch, really. I don't think we need six hours of this, unless you are totally invested in the story of Harry and Meghan. And let's face it, a lot of people are. They are genuinely interested to hear it from the horses' mouths. Um, right. But, you know, uh, six but hours crucially, is quite a lot. Crucially, Jenny, as it stands then, you, people like you who have, have, have diligently soldiered through three hours of this tosh, have so far come to the conclusion that there's nothing particularly damaging to the royal family in it. And of some of the allegations that are being alluded to, it's baseless, like the racism stuff so far. So in the next three hours, they've got to land a blow. Otherwise, frankly, they lose on points, don't they? Yeah, I mean, I don't know if it's baseless. It's certainly very fuzzy. That's uh, sort of all sorts of generalisations. And I don't think we've learned a lot new, except that um, they felt very... Well, actually, it's not new at all. They were very unhappy um, in their royal life. That is a great love story. Oh, they met through Instagram. We didn't know that, that they he was scrolling through Instagram and uh, rather like what he saw. That's new. And the other new story for me was that when he dressed oh, up as a Nazi... Um, as a Nazi at a fancy dress uh, party, he found that now to have been one of the biggest mistakes of his life. And yeah. he subsequently went and met this a survivor of the Holocaust. Well, we didn't know that. Um, well, I've got a lot of sympathy with him on his his allegations about unconscious bias um, mm. in in the society in general. And I think mm. they have got a message that we all need to listen to, perhaps on that.